All right, everyone, a quick update on Caspa here. So we pulled back just a little bit here on Caspa, and we're going to keep it real simple. You can see the smaller fib we have going from the low to the high here. You're going to continue pushing higher as long as you stay above about 16.5. If you can hold the 236 here, that could tell us that she is going to keep running here, and even maybe down to 15 to the 382. Now, one thing I would point out if we switch to the weekly candles here, Every time Caspa makes a new high, not every time, but most of the times, you can see it has these giant green candles spawning in here, especially as of late. Off of this run, this run, and now this run we're on. So we did make a slightly higher high at 19.3. And I would say once we get a red candle on the weekly here, that pretty much tells us, unless we fall below 16.5 here, that's going to pretty much tell us that the top is in for now and we're going to retrace back down. Potentially all the way back down here to 12.9 and even 11, which would kill, uh, which would still rather keep the uh, market structure intact here. Which overall, the whole chart for Caspa here is extremely bullish, as we can see here with our eyes. So we could get a retracement back down to these levels. I would just keep it that simple. Watch that 2.36 at 16.5, and then maybe the 15 level here, and maybe we pull all the way back and then we move back up. And of course, on the weekly candle here, that would have us pull all the way back down here, which is not a good sign. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. I think if anything, 16.5 should hold here and we should push right back up if it comes down that far, which let me go ahead and measure this really quick here. So I would say Caspa at most right now can pull back about 7%. Any lower than that, that could signal the top is in here off of that slightly higher high here. Now, with that being said, how high is Caspa going to go? We do have one potential high target here of about 59 up to the top of the Fibonacci at the 4236 at about 58 to 59 cents. That would give you about a 220% move here. So if you were to just buy in on Caspa today, you would get a 3x out of this thing if it hits the top here. And of course, the next stop after the high at 19.3 is going to be about a 35 to 36% move here up to the 3618 at 24. Now I did do the math here and I've seen a lot of people calling for a $5 Caspa this cycle. And to put it into perspective here, uh, the $5 range would give you a $119 billion market cap to make Caspa $5 here. That is going by the current um, circulating supply. So what are your thoughts on that? None of this is financial advice. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.